TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not. We are live. My bad. So you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Uh, if you miss a live or you want to catch any future lives or catch up on lives, go to twitch.com and enter that information right there. That's exactly how you look at my, what my username is. Uh, don't forget we got Patreon. Post five days a week and anything extra that we watch on Twitch um, or things that don't post to YouTube. And we got merch. All the links to that is down in the description. This is Extra, Extra Ross exploring a ghost town in the middle of London. Y'all got abandoned towns in London? That don't even sound right. <laughs> as expensive as London is and, and where it's located, it should everything should be everything that should could be lived in sounds like it should be lived in. But this probably like I don't know. Maybe he gives a good explanation. Let's check it out, man. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. Hello, and welcome to the Aylesbury Estate, or, well, part of the Aylesbury Estate. It was, probably still is, the biggest council estate in Western Europe. This building here is just one of about maybe 20, even 30 buildings. It was built just after the war, and at one point housed 11,000 people. Damn! But what makes this place really unique at the minute is that there's only 15 people living here. That's it. What was once home to 11,000 people. Let's go up to the fourth. Wait a minute now. Living on an estate that can house 11,000 people possibly, and there's only 15 people there. I don't know if I'd live there. That's a little creepy to me. That would like, I would tweak out. Like I'd be, like I don't know how mentally strong. I would be, any little sound would like, I'd be, my mind would be racing. <laughs> Floor is now a ghost town. So this is the fourth floor, and this is what I mean. Let's have a look down here, shall we? There, there. 300, 302, 268. Ooh. Door after door. They're like steel. Floor. It's not boarded up, it's like steel on the They're door. They're boarded up. All of these flats here are actually quite livable. Someone lives there. What are we on now, the sixth floor? 267, 266. I wonder why. And all this in the middle of London. You could be at Buckingham Palace having lunch with the King if you want in about 20 minutes, or you Dang. could be at the London Eye in about 10. So why is it empty? Well, the plan is to replace this entire block, in fact, this entire estate with brand new homes, just like these ones they're building across the road. And look at that beautiful color pastel pink that makes sense well, that's gonna age too well the thing is some people are refusing to leave I knocked on a few doors so just like just like an episode out of top boy and I managed to find two of them and I'll show you the home my home so you can have the idea yeah yeah? Let's see that. It's it. Uh, sorry, that's my... No, no, no. You shouldn't put just... So these are really big houses, right? It is. And, and also, how thoughtful they look. Huge cupboards. The one of the bedroom. Here. This is my bathroom. And that's... That's all I need. So you've lived here 30 years. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty decent. It's a lot of space. You know, houses and homes and things of that nature built, like, after the war, they normally are big because the government wasn't as greedy, should I say. So they weren't trying to, or whoever these housing people weren't as greedy, they weren't trying to use up as much space as possible. But Yes, and there were lots of people large. when you first moved in. 
Mm. And now there are not so many people. Some people might go, oh, I'm not sure if I would feel safe. How safe do you feel? I feel very, very safe. And as soon as I stepped in, Icebury Estate footprint, doesn't matter what time it is, day or night, I feel safe. I'm home. Man, people, people got their stuff set up nice. All my life. Yeah. <laughs> I started, as I say, I started primary school. Um, I've got tankers. Uh, when I moved here, as far as I was concerned, this would be for that. He must be a professional ex-alcoholic or something. He got all the equipment. He got about 45,000 flasks. He got the little globe thing with the alcohol. He got the he got the war alcohol cups. I, like, I didn't expect to think, well, I can't collect this, I can't collect that. Oh, he's a collector, my bad. To, you know, look after all my collection and pack it up and stuff. I didn't expect that. Do you ever feel sad when you walk around the place? Hi. I tell you, you know, I think, fuck it, I would have done. You know what I mean? It's just be a good, lively place, you know what I mean? Like, you'd meet people in the halls and that, and like, you wouldn't know them. But. So, wait, how long? Did he say how long this property has, like, been in limbo because these tenants won't move out? I don't blame them for not wanting to move out. 100%. Like, they're not going to find anything like this in London for probably what they're paying. Or they might own them. You can own flats too, right? Like, Fierce, you go, hey, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, you felt part of a community, you know? Do you want this open? Uh, yeah, I don't want you to look yourself out. <laughs> well, I know it's gonna happen to me one day, but I don't want to move. And it's just one of those things, you know, such as life. <laughs> You're interested in. I understand though. Like, look at this. Look at his crib. He's literally made this home. Like, he's got all these pictures, all these collecting of items. Like, I wouldn't want to move either. Like, no, bro. I'm not trying to redo all of this somewhere else. Like, in more on this estate, I'll put some links in the description. You can go around and have a read on the internet. Probably loads of stuff that I haven't told you about. Okay, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. It'll stop me having to get the bus everywhere. Cheers. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, man. This was actually pretty good. I gave it a thumbs up. This is extra Ross. I don't know if he probably has another channel somewhere, but word of advice, you gotta make your videos at least eight minutes long. That's all I got for you, man. Eight minutes, man. Tell her leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post, I'm gone.